you if you click on this um you can see so many files mostly the extension right um the extension of jupyter notebook is ipynb okay so uh, ip any any file ending with ipynb uh, is kind of jupyter extension normally any python file is dot py extension basically uh, but if you are saving you have so many option i'll tell you what is this ipynb and other formats but as of now i'm just showing you how to open any file you can open dot py you can open anything what you need to do is just go to the path where you have saved those files select that and click on open right and here once you get this you can click on upload uh, it's already there so i may get some error key it is already uploaded but yeah it's already there so i just overwrite right so once i have uploaded i can see the file is here and then i can simply click and it will open these are our very basics again uh, but as you are beginner you will struggling you'll be struggling um, how to open a new python file and uh, how to kind of generate new notebook and all that right let me repeat uh, two things we are looking right now one is how to open a new python notebook so there are two buttons upload and new go to new and select on python 3 how to upload anything dot py dot ip when be any anything you want to upload just go to upload select the path where you have saved and then you up, you can upload here once you have uploaded any time you want you can open this is one way other way is here also you have this uh, folders directly from here also if you don't want to upload directly go here let's say um, not uh, let's say in downloads i have saved that file right so i can go to the download folder right uh, download so this is the downloads folder inside download folders i have all this um so basically this is one of the file house price advance so then i can select whatever i want to upload let's say the csv file like right? so there are two ways of upload you can directly go from the home you can select the folders and go or in upload you can select the path and go that's how you can upload or open any file and you can create also new python file right now once you have created a python file um here like let's say this one you created a blank new python file uh, you want to code something you want to create some nice documentation so what you can do is first thing you need to do is you you should change the name it is by default untitled so if you don't change later you will very difficult to find it out again because there will be kind of no name to it right so how to give a name to your file so you can rename just click on this untitled two times you'll get here and you can give any name let's say uh, jupiter tutorial right and rename so this file has been renamed right and you can see there is, there are box um, so this box is known as cell right uh, you can actually create uh, code or maybe you can write code within this cell and this python jupiter will run cell by cell the first cell second cell third cell fourth cell fifth cell sixth cell like that cell by cell it will run it will execute the command okay so before i jump into next i just want to ask you is it clear all all what whatever we are discussing so far is it clear or you have any queries is it clear then i will go to next madam good morning yeah madam i have installed as uh, the anaconda the problem okay. is when i want to open a twitter uh, by anaconda uh, the url when the one html page is open where there is a local uh, column number along with the token number ah uh, sorry token. sorry uh, sorry i am not able to hear you properly Your your voice is not very clear. Time is getting. Um. Okay. So, uh, if if some internet issue from your side, no problem. You can type it in the chat box. I will read out. Okay.
Okay, so it seems like the uh, demo uh, sessions are uploaded in YouTube channel. You can actually go to the YouTube channel. They will be sharing you the YouTube channel link. Uh, you can go to the YouTube channel to see the view, uh, see the demo recordings and the class recordings will be shared to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have yeah. one doubt. It is yeah. default is opening in the C drive. If I want to uh, store in the folder in uh, E drive or uh, other drives, how to go get it from there? Or you can change. You, you, you can select here, no, which drive you want. Uh, uh, good question. All, yeah, always, I, I'll tell you. I, I understood what you're saying. So what he's saying is by default, whenever I am clicking new, it is opening. Okay, by the way, you can know in which drive it is opening. There is a command called PWD. What is the command PWD and enter? So by default, wherever it is opening the path, it will show you. So all the files that I'm writing here, this Jupyter tutorial uh, will be saved in user's home. Okay. Uh, but okay, uh, one more thing. So, but if you don't want this, right? Uh, like you asked, I don't want inside users home. I want in some other folder, let's say uh, D folder, D drive or E drive if you are using Windows. So what to do, how to open? So same thing. Again, let's say I want to open inside documents. I will click on documents and here I will inside documents. If I want to create a new folder, I can create here a new folder, right? Uh, and if I don't want to create a new folder, let's say I have some folder, let's say all are my folders, untitled folder. Uh, let's say inside this folder I want to create. Here you can type Python 3. Right? So now if you type here PWD, it is not user home. It's, it is inside user home documents, untitled folder where I want, I have opened here. Is that answer your query? This is what you are ask, asking, right? Uh, this is what, but uh, what I mean means uh, I am not able to go. Suppose you have a there is a user, there is a one more directory is there, right? Uh, so, see, suppose it is always pointed in the use C drive, it is not moving to the E drive. There is no option to change to the E drive. I'm not able to find no, you, you, you can, you can. That's how I, I mean, you can see all the folders in the home, uh, and then, uh, one second seems like my Jupiter is gone again. I need to restart. OK, so it, you can do that. So the same way you need to go, go to the home page, select the drive folders where you want to save. I mean, there are too many options you can save here also after writing. No matter where you are writing, you can save it. So download as you have options and even here save as here. Also, you have options here. Also, you can keep the path where you want to save. Okay. okay, there are multiple options where you can do it. Uh, I'll tell you one by one. Okay, so this is PWD is the first command which will give you the uh, current path where it is saving. Okay. Um, now what I will do is I will open. I will rename like how I have renamed. I have already renamed. Let's say this unexpected. Okay, one second. Let me so many files. Let me close all this. Right. Leave. Uh, and then I will open again. So do not forget to close this also, right? When you close Jupyter, you can close this as well and you can open. There's so many Jupyter files I opened. One second. Okay, now I will type Jupyter space notebook, right? Just give me one second. Okay, so once you open Jupyter Notebook, as I have shown you yesterday, right? Code and document. So there are two different modes uh, you can use. Okay, so this is my Jupyter. What I will do is I will simply create a new Python file. This is my new Python file and immediately I'll rename it so that later I should not uh, kind of it's it should not be very difficult to find it again. So I will rename let's say uh, Jupyter notebook. Right Jupyter notebook uh, and then let's say 
uh, I come here. So I will tell you so the different types of mode I was talking. So there are basically three uh, different types of mode code markdown and heading. So mostly two types code and markdown. So there are two modes command mode and edit mode, right? So um, if, if you if you kind of uh, change from one mode to another mode, you can uh, simply uh, so this blue color line right is uh, like called as edit mode and then you can actually go to the let's say if I enter if I click on enter inside the cell then it is changed to green color right again if I press escape it will change to blue color enter green color escape blue color so this blue and green are two different modes uh, I'll tell you what is that so let's say I'm in blue color mode all the uh, all the edit thing I can do edit means what I can there are so many keyboard shortcuts if you as a beginner if you're finding it little difficult keyboard shortcuts you can also use these tabs right let's say I want to create multiple cells like this if I click on plus plus more more cells will be added uh, but if I want to do it uh, keyboard shortcut I don't want to use this symbol this tab then how to do it uh, in the command in this mode blue mode you just type a right so a means above whatever cell you have currently in above it one more cell will be added b means below it one more cell will be added let me repeat a means above b means below if i keep pressing a and b below below or above above it will keep adding this is how you can add more number of cells right uh, let me repeat you can click on plus or you can uh, go to escape you can press escape once you change to edit mode, you can type either A or B uh, to go to above and uh, below. No, no, no need to remember anything. There is help. And if you come to keyboard shortcuts in help, you have keyboard shortcuts. If you click on keyboard shortcuts, you can see all the keyboard shortcuts. Um, not in the first class, but eventually when you are using it, you will be very comfortable. Um, like uh, one two three four and all this keyboard see a and b i just told you right a means insert cell above b means insert cell below x means cut c means copy v means paste we all know that this is basic right so these keyboard shortcuts you can use or if you forget you can take always help from help and keyboard shortcuts now once i have created right um uh, I, I want to write some text. Uh, let's say I want to write some text. You can change it to markdown because text is not code mode, right? We have to change it to markdown mode. Now I can write any text. Let's say this is about Jupyter Notebook. Okay, this is about Jupyter Notebook. Now this something I have written, some text I have written, I want to run this cell how to run a particular cell again uh, to run a particular cell you have two option you can select this triangle symbol here if you press this it will run or you can also uh, you can also uh, like shift and enter shift and return in mac shift and enter in windows if you press uh, shift and enter this particular cell will run and this particular text has been generated but Sometimes you, you will get error if it is in code mode. If I run this, I will get error in valid syntax because this is not Python syntax. Any text you always have to change to markdown and then you can run so that this will run. Right. Similarly, now what I will do is say the same text um, like in markdown, what, whatever we are doing. Similarly, all the things we can do here. For example, I want to make it bold. So you just write star star and here also you end it with star star and change it to markdown and then if you run this is bold now right this is not bold this is simple text this is bold text if you want to make it italic uh, that also you can do you can write um, i mean the same bold you can also do using b command if you know b command but these are the shortcuts star star is nothing but uh, for bold right for italic you can give one star for bold you can give two stars similarly if i want to make it italic what i will do is again i'll change it to markdown and instead of two stars i'll give one star and then i will run it right so three things one is your bold one is your italic and one is your normal text everything i can write uh, 
but make sure you make it to markdown mode right um, again uh, not only this uh, you can also do so many other uh, advanced things like you can um, you can actually add uh, headings so how to add headings you can use keyboard shortcuts or you can select to heading mode as a beginner you can select these tabs so if you click on headings uh, this is so there are different levels of heading this is the highest level of heading level one uh, and then you can write the heading this is let's say uh, heading one right and then shift enter or simply click on this run so you will get this heading one let's say you want to create subheadings within this main heading you want to create subheading small small headings so in that case how to do that uh, you can do it i'll show you this uh, shortcut now so you can press escape again any shortcut you want to use press escape so it will change to which mode it will change to edit mode in edit mode you can type one two three four five like this one is the top level header uh, if i type two it is a second level header right and i can write this is heading two right how to give heading three again it is already in blue color so no need to change anything uh, just escape and then i will press three so this is heading three right if you want to use keyboard shortcuts you don't want to use keyboard shortcuts here you can select heading and then uh, simply what you can do is if you want level four heading add four hash and then write uh, whatever you want to write let's say this is heading four and run right so um let me repeat what we can do we can do so many things we can give headings we can give we can make it bold italic and all that so there are two things edit mode and command mode so um you can use keyboard shortcuts or you can use these tabs anything you want to run any cell you want to run you can always use this run command or shift and enter or shift or return in mac uh, in this you change to markdown and then write whatever text you want to write and run here you just uh, had given two star star two star star to make the text bold uh, here you have written one star to make the text italic again if you want to give headings you can always give headings by either typing one two three four five six in command mode or selecting here heading and then by default it will be always heading one but you can add as many as hash you want to make it different levels heading one heading two heading three right so far is it clear all clear or any doubt so far it is clear uh, it is clear i have one doubt i yeah. understand the edit mode is blue color escape blue color it is uh, that means setting what is the command command mode uh, i'll yeah. talk about that when i go to code so basically in, in there you can write any code right so this is like you change something the settings or the look you are changing and then you are writing something inside the cell when you write something inside the cell that is the kind of green mode you can say green uh, so that is uh, the writing mode right so basically okay. green and blue so any change like you want to add headings or make it bold or it like any change you want to do that time you can go to the edit and then when you are typing something that will automatically become green when you type anything within the cell okay okay so whenever you write you need to put, uh, in the cell you have to put escape and make it blue so that we can write then something correct right? correct correct yes okay. here you can do something and then enter means blue escape enter escape enter to change different modes okay right um yeah i mean uh, okay even uh, if this is by default let's say i have here also you can change let's say markdown here you can select markdown or simply here you if you type y it will change to code mode m it will change to markdown mode y it will change to code mode m means it will change to markdown mode don't worry if you are confused with shortcuts it's the very first class everything is here so eventually uh, like when you use it everything you can understand and you will remember uh, no need to remember everything in the first class uh, but eventually you will understand everything see edit mode uh, so all these things are here whatever i am saying everything is here uh, but again um, let me repeat so 
here you can change markdown or code or maybe in this if you type y it will change to kind of um, if you press y it will change to code mode m means it will change to markdown okay now let's say i want to change it to code mode so i will change y so it changed to code mode now now i have to write some python code let's say i will write a very simple python code let's say hello python i want to print this this is a python syntax python code and then i will run it either i can use run or i can use shift and enter so hello python this has not given er any error because it is in code mode right so what i have done i have done some i have written some markdowns and then i am running my python now this is how you can write python code and then you can execute it run run and immediately you can see the output below the cell uh, if you are having any error you can go and correct and again you can rerun so run it it will run cell by cell one cell completed it will move to second cell third cell fourth cell like that uh, and there is other commands like let's say you want to delete let's say this particular cell you don't want you want to delete it how to delete either you can cut like this or uh, there is a command dd two types if you type if you press uh, dd see it is deleted simply press two times dd so it will delete it how to delete dd in in blue in blue mode you just need to type dd so it will delete and then if you want to add simply type bbb it will again be added in below right bb means it will add it it will add new cell below dd means it will delete b means add below a means add above if you are confused do not use any keyboard shortcut just use plus to add below and this cut symbol uh, to kind of delete but it is easy delete you can remember dd two times if you press dd it will delete okay uh yeah so uh, this is something uh, very very basic uh, but i will tell you one more thing uh, any anything let's say i have done some changes right i have done some changes here i want to say by default jupiter will save i think uh, with some uh, like in every 10 second or 30 second it will auto save but sometimes due to some let's say um, let's say you had run some update or something your system restarted or crashed or something happened or um, like let's say something happened so you may you may lose this kind of changes that you have done in jupiter so to to be in a safer site always um, before you kind of shut down your system you always do this save and checkpoint um, by default it will be saved but again i'll recommend to always do save and checkpoint uh if i do save and checkpoint it's checked point at 836 basically it's a kind of recovery if you are aware of uh, rolling back recovery and also basically it will create a backup code for your code uh and you can find it also in in your folder where exactly it is saving the files i don't know so i will type pwd and enter so within users and home within this folder where this file is saved uh, if you go and see there is also one folder please see this this is an assignment for you wherever you are saving this jupyter notebook files if you go to that folder and see you can see ipynb.checkpoints one folder will be there uh, which with with name ipynb.checkpoints so in that folder basically what is that folder by default jupyter will auto save your notebook in every 120 seconds right to this checkpoint file without altering your primary notebook file let me repeat by default if you don't do anything if you don't press save and checkpoint also jupiter will auto save your notebook whatever the current notebook that this notebook will be auto save to this checkpoint file which checkpoint file you have a checkpoint ipynb dot dot checkpoint folder will be created within the same folder where this jupyter notebook file is saved within that file uh, auto save this file will be auto save uh, and um um when you when you press uh, save and checkpoint what will happen is sometimes there will be no sync right let's say the checkpoint file uh, is created 120 second before and this notebook you have done some changes and your system crashed in between so 
you can only revert back to your last checkpoint see last checkpoint is this you can revert back to this any changes you done after this will not be recovered so better if you if you press control c right you, if you if you press save and checkpoint what will happen is your particular jupyter notebook file this and the checkpoint file both will be updated the checkpoint file will be updated with your current jupyter notebook file so that any anything happen to your current jupyter file exact copy you can replicate you can take a recovery i think it is clear if not please ask questions about save and checkpoint let me repeat there is a folder uh, ipwinebit.checkpoints auto save option is there in jupyter which will automatically sync or update your checkpoint with your current jupyter file but sometime before but that time is like 120 second i think default uh, time that also you can change going to settings within that time window if something happens to your jupyter notebook you cannot recover that file it will only go to the last checkpoint revert to the last checkpoint only so it's it's very important if you do some very important change very important code change and if you want to retain that immediately you press this save and checkpoint button if you press save and checkpoint at that time what will happen is both the notebook file and the checkpoint file will be updated so that if you if you if your jupyter crashed you can take a recovery of that is it clear or any doubt please ask me i'll pause for some time here is it clear everybody understood what the save and checkpoint is doing ma'am uh, what will what will be the location of checkpoint file same folder where this jupyter notebook is uh is saved okay 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 uh, you, you told generally jupyter notebook will be saved automatically right? how much second will take auto save or when pressing the enter button it automatically save how uh, no that is the how jupyter notebook is de designed how means i don't know but that is how the jupyter notebook works so every day will automatically yeah. save but some same uh, 10 second automatically save like uh, cloud or in uh, like uh, when press enter it will say automatically no need to save right yeah i mean yeah correct automatically it will save okay but there is a time in which it will sync or update the checkpoint file with this uh, i mean the default time i think it is 120 second but you can check maybe they have changed something but there is some time within i mean it's not immediate not like i am writing here it is saving there no there is some lag time okay so within that lag time if something happens to your jupiter uh, then that file you will not get but most often you there is a very less chance of losing anything in jupiter because it is auto saving but just to in a safer side right i am saying uh, you should better create a checkpoint immediately if you do some changes because sometime if your system crashed or something happened uh, you may lose if you or we system can, is crashing before that lag time we, we can also before going we can also there's a file that is save right we can save us right file insta checkpoint yeah, you can, can save as also yeah you can save as also you can save as i mean there is multiple option you can download also you can download this file whatever it is it will be downloaded and you can create a copy right download me or you can make a copy and take a backup you can make a copy of this this is a copy of the first and you can rename and save it okay there's so many uh, options yeah i uh, one more doubt uh, you you type repeatedly there's a batch command this is python id right how batch command works or all batch command works in python uh, uh, core shell this is ipynb cell this is actually command prompt the cell is actually ipynb cell so it's a command line only okay all the commands of the system work here uh, not all the commands but basically this cell right what you are looking is basically i i uh, i python cell sorry i not ipynb it's a i python cell uh, the, uh, so i python is kind of uh, the basic cell where kind of this jupyter notebook codes are running behind so some python cell is required right on which it will run so you are looking this gui but background of it is i python cell where it is running that's why pwd is working and all the system command you can by default use using a python package called import the os operating system and then all the operating system command you can use that's okay. a different thing yeah 
okay now uh, once i did all this uh, rest all things like okay let me go here and show you some of the things that you can do obviously you can create a new notebook you can open from here also you can make a copy i can already show you save as like here also you have option to save you can rename save and checkpoint revert i think these two are the difficult part to understand rest all are direct so i think now it is clear to you uh, download so yeah this i want to give some time here uh, you have so many options to download it's not like only dot py file uh, you have options to kind of um, download it as a html file html file you know what is html file let's say you want to share your code to very very high level management team and uh, they are they are managing a huge team they don't have python installed or even though python installed to run this code in their system they needs all the packages that you have used let's say i have used pandas sklearn matplotlib uh, so many packages so they have to install everything then only they can able to run your code in their system they don't want to do that just because they want to see your code uh, like if you share any python file to anyone until unless all the required packages are installed that code itself will not run uh, this is a headache for higher management let's say your manager who is managing a team of 60 Uh, he doesn't has time just to run your code he cannot install everything right so you can give a html file no need to do anything just in web it will open and he can just see the code output he can visualize and you can kind of know what you are doing right so this is html format you already aware of it what is html now uh, other formats are like markdown you can create markdown but note notebook so whatever code i am going to share in this class will be in ipynb format or dot py format so ipynb format is very very jupyter notebook uh, uh kind of format so it will not open in any other id if i share ipynb file please do not open ipynb file in spider or pycharm or in text note uh, notepad or in word book it will not open it will you will not understand anything uh because uh, it is very specific to jupiter all the ipynb can only be opened in jupiter not in any other uh, kind of uh, id but again uh, you have options also you don't want ipynb that's fine you can simply download it it's not showing but below there is an option called pdf is also there you don't want to reuse you don't want your your other let's say you are sharing your something with other uh, friend members there is an option you can actually i i will tell you when we go to coding part there's an option you can hide all your codes and only show the results and create a html file and share for example you want to share your outcome with other team members not within your and definitely you don't want to share the code with them right your manager is saying don't want to uh, no need to show the code just show the outcome the results so the results uh, let's say i'll show you something so that you will you can correlate what i'm saying uh, let's say this thing right uh, there are so many things i have written text and then i have written python code right uh, all the text i want to show uh, and all the results i want to show like this result right this is a result Uh, and uh, let's say this is the graph result this graph i want to show all the output i want to show but i don't want to show the code that also i can do i can hide all the codes and simply i can uh, show all the output and text generate a html file like this and share across team so that they can only see my output and they will not be aware of the code that i have used internally okay uh, or maybe even not html you want to generate a pdf file just generate a pdf file and share so that only the output will be there they cannot do any modification they will not be having any code with them okay that option is really helpful when you want to share something and don't want to share the code ma'am how can we write the particular lines of code uh, how can we write particular lines of code how can we hide the particular lines uh, how, how can we hide so yeah so that's is that is an external python package which does that uh, maybe once we just remind me once i go to python coding so you need to understand little bit of python for that okay um, how to import a package how to install and all so i'll tell you later not now this external package which does that 
so a block of code if you run that everything will be hide it it, it will hide everything okay just remind me i'll share you that block of code sure and also how we can bold italic and underline in one go for a particular statement yeah i mean uh, here if you want to kind of let's say bold and italic so here only you can all whatever you are doing you can also use the markdown syntax you know the markdown i may not be expert because i'm a data scientist not a developer a web developer but i think you if any one of you has uh, worked in web development you must be very expert in all the markdown code will work here so for italic i think we are using i right so just write i and then you end it i so it will become bold and italic simultaneously okay uh, so similarly here also instead of yeah instead of star star if you find the symbols right you are very expert in markdown uh, so you no need to remember this shortcuts you can use direct markdown commands so this is the command for bold if you want to markdown uh, if you want to make it bold so bold and italic okay so like you can use star star or you can use b and i to make it bold and italic okay and there are so many other things you can do like for example you want to uh, you know horizontal line right in in uh, uh, in markdown we have hr uh, for this if i if i write hr so it's like horizontal line i am just kind of let's say some heading i want to give with a line uh, below right some highlight i want to highlight some of the text see there is a highlight this is a kind of different block itself right you can do in this way or there is a shortcut you can also use star star three times um, line right three times line we we'll also do this no this is not working i think this is the command no this is not working so you can write h a h r header okay so if you find this remembering this is easy then you can remember this if you like it's up to you there are two options how you can do okay so this is kind of giving a header in bit below horizontal line you can write below right uh, not only this you can add images you can add urls you can add so many things uh, just using this simple commands okay now what else you can do like uh, i just want to give some more detail on markdown because once you understand once uh, the same can command you, you can, can you show how yeah. to add the url i'll show i'll show one by one i'll show and uh, and one more thing uh, while downloading um, there is a three more option right uh, latex and uh, markdown and uh, some document. can you explain that also some what what i didn't get well file there is a download there is a three more option right uh, 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 you, you told about uh, HTML and uh, notebook. Can you tell about LaTeX smart on ASCII doc? What is that? No, no, no. ASCII doc is different. It's not of your use and LaTeX is also not of most of your use. Anybody knows what is LaTeX? Before I explain this, you need to understand what is LaTeX first. Anybody what is knows what is? What is? Markdown? Markdown. markdown markdown is markdown like uh, markdown format dot md format jupyter notebook markdown format the file will be right and latex is something i think you need to understand what is latex first before i kind of explain this that's why i skipped latex is kind of anybody is from masters or phd they must be must have written their thesis using latex anybody anybody use latex in past anybody no you 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 are aware of latex tapasvini any anyone no 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 okay okay so it's a good thing if you if you want to explore you can explore uh, all the books it's it's a it's a kind of programming way of writing i mean it's a substitute of your um, microsoft word uh, and all that right but uh, in a it's it's little difficult to write but it is like so many things you will get a very very nice format uh, i'll show you some of the latex you can actually i have used latex for my uh, master's thesis writing so this is um, basically i can show you some template this is 
a substitute of uh, what but how it is better or how it is bad so better in this how it is uh, not very good as compared to what is what is like kind of drag and drop it's like everything is there you are not coding anything there easier for a programmer easier for a not programmer easier for a user to use word uh, the the drawback of latex is uh, latex is very very old before microsoft actually latex was there it is very very old and uh, it's not very straightforward like word um, you have to write you base literally you have to code for generating those documents um, but what is the advantage again in word it's it's you have to work very hard really hard to create a nice document with proper spacing with proper format with proper uh, font size when you are writing a book or you are writing a phd thesis or something which is similar to a book uh, that time all these things matters right uh, it's it's a high quality research work you want to publish so that time this latex if you understand initially you will find little difficulty understanding but once you understood uh, it's very 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 good tool you will love it i mean just do some like little code change and everything will be very nicely formatted uh, every it will take care of everything mm, sometimes if you have time you can uh, go to that um, you you uh, mostly i prepare my resume using latex so you no need of any format just kind of select one template and do some code change automatically with proper spacing proper font size everything it will create just go here you can understand what is latex so you need to understand latex first uh, and, latex, and latex you can have sp spelling check and like that like word like that can do. yes yes you can do spelling check it's a, it's a kind of book basically people write book uh because in book so many times you need to so many formatting right uh in latex there are templates uh, there are, there are themes you can select those and uh in background it will generate a code and if you know latex simple simple changes you can do in that code and you can uh, everything uh, will be auto generated and this latex is only for a word document or only for a ppt for a alternate to microsoft you can create everything you can create um I, I previously when you can create PPTs, you can create books, you can create uh, uh, like Word documents. You can convert LaTeX to Word, Word to Word to LaTeX. I don't know, but LaTeX can be converted to any other format, and it will by default create .tex. That's the extension. This can be converted to any format, Word or like PDF or PPT. Uh, yeah, so there are so many things you can do. Mostly PPT and uh, Word document you can create. So Jupyter supports that also, but it is none of your use. That's why I skipped it. Mostly we okay. will be using HTML notebook. This two we mostly use and .py format. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, and in LaTeX PPTs, um, I think now in advanced uh, Word you have also options, so you can create advanced things. Uh, like I don't want to go there. That's a different topic itself. Okay. So again, other things. Uh, what you can do using Markdown, you can create list. For example, this is very helpful. Very helpful. Very often I use. Uh, I want to give some points, right? Let's say this is point one. Uh, it's very simple. Just give a hyphen and write your points, uh, and then simply point three. And then if I run this. Uh, okay, so this is not in Markdown, so I need to change it to Markdown. Then only it will work. This is bullet points. Markdown, uh, simply a hyphen and then write whatever you want to write. Those all are kind of bullet points. You don't want bullet points. You want ordered list. One, two, three, four. Very, very simple. You can uh, use Markdown like how you use Markdown, right? Like you know how to do Markdown, but in in normal way, you can simply write. Uh, one dot right and then you type whatever you want to type let's say point one mm, it always should be marked down it's not working i think there's some space issue i forgot the exact uh, thing so there's something i think or one dot simply space right yeah this is what it's say very simple one dot space and then two dot space point two three dot space point three and then run 
right so this is how you can write points one two three four or bullet points uh, just simply hyphen right uh, mostly when you do some ordered or unordered list if you want right that time you can use this way markdown uh, hyperlinks again uh, hyperlinks also i think you can use the same uh, funda of uh, kind of this thing the uh, markdown uh, syntax so a and then h r e f and then within after that you can write the hyperlinks um, hyperlink whatever you want let's say i want to give google or let's say this link right latex project org just copy this link uh and then you can paste here right uh, the link that you want to open and after this you can create some text uh, link for latex let's say this is the text you want to print and then you can close this again every time you have to come go to markdown and then you can run it so this is the link to text if i press i'll go here this is how i can create add hyperlinks right uh, in my text um, this is the text that will be displayed link for tech latex i will click this i'll come to the website and how i did it the same markdown syntax so what you need to do is you you already know i no need to explain more uh, the same thing like a h r e f and then give the uh, path of the url and then the text and then you can end it um, the same syntax that how you use in markdown right and similarly if you want to add any image um, again the same syntax so what you can do is you can write image and uh, sorry within this bracket you can write image and then you can give the source of that image if you uh, if you know the source uh, where you have saved it in your local system if you saved you can give the path or uh, if you are downloading from any uh, internet you can give that source so let's say um uh inspect so even here also see this is the source right i can copy this copy element and then somewhere i can paste it so this is my source okay um this is my source i can give the source name and then i can actually use um width height and all that and i can simply run this and this image will be added uh, similarly for urls uh, for youtube links and all uh, i think youtube video hyperlinks you can give in the same way videos uh, i forgot how to add videos i think videos also you can add but how to add i forgot you can check the same markdown syntax uh, every markdown syntax will work here the simple thing is if you are very expert in markdown you can create nice documents now simply table table also you can create you know this uh, tr right we we do everything with tr and then to add one one row we are adding td 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 right so same thing so you can create markdown or if you are finding it difficult copy google from google you can type markdown for table you will get the syntax copy that and paste here right you will get the same thing jupiter uh, for table let's say you want to generate this kind of table so what is happening and it is showing this markdown documentation so to become very expert in documentation but whatever i showed i think that is what i also use uh, see here span elements code images everything if you want more you can go and uh, kind of get expertise here and then you can go there uh, for example let's say images uh, so basically this is the image um, kind of uh, like documentation you can go there but i think this is more than sufficient what i already shared it's more than sufficient to create nice notebook uh, for table actually what i remember is you you can write something like table style if you want something with width and height if you don't want any style simply start with table and then uh, you can add one 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 uh, line calling this tr and then uh, basically 
td td or if you find here making it difficult make a table in excel sheet and then uh, create a kind of snap snapshot and then paste here using image so that table will be pasted here as a image you can add math equations this is just a flavor uh, to make sure like you are comfortable using jupiter uh, you th the more you will understand about markdown the more advanced things you can do but i think this is the basic to intermediate to create nice document you can i think you are good to go with all this you can add text you can bold it you can italic you can add high horizontal line you can make headings one two three four heading you can add bullet points um, you can add hyperlinks you can add images i think that's more than sufficient this is what you need to create any or to start any project right now i think this kind of projects um, you can create see here you can add somewhere you can write text you can add hyperlinks all these things you can do so far is it clear yeah right, it is clear uh, the mark mark down means you mean html syntax right Markdown. yes 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 i'm also not very expert because i'm a data scientist don't so i'm also learning html i know the basics this is what i know i think this is more than sufficient for a data scientist to work on jupyter notebook but uh, again i also back end developer i also little bit there is a w3 school there you copy everything everything will be the syntax sorry i i could not get you there is a link w3 schools where you have all the html syntax csm everything yeah yeah, yeah 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 you can take help i think most of the time uh, you can get help just what you want just get the md markdown code and paste here it will work okay all the md markdown code will work in this particular uh, markdown mode but i think this is what you need not more than this you can add images you can add hyperlinks you can add uh, text you can bold it it like it horizontal line headings that's more than sufficient not nothing else you want uh, and sometimes if you want let's say um, math equations i will suggest based on my own experience better you write some that ma math equation somewhere in excel or ppt or where some notepad and then take a snapshot and add that as a image otherwise you can write direct math equation also that will give you more clarity uh, but ultimately i think that's little difficult to add all the dollar dollar karke you need to write better is create image and then add here uh, that that is kind of uh, quick okay and our main goal is to generate code files not uh just we are documenting because others will able to understand what we are writing right so i think this is i mean this is good to start uh any document uh in jupyter notebook okay Ma where, so where we will save the output of these things you can download it okay you can let's say this thing i want to download it as a notebook right so it, so it is created a notebook so in mm -hmm. folder so it is created in this downloads i can copy this and paste wherever i want to save it got it so this you can copy and paste wherever you want this is the notebook file that i created has been generated again if you want to upload you can upload in jupyter notebook or you can see the same file you don't want in ipynb you can generate dot py file also you can generate dot py file so that file only show the output or the code also all the things it it will show the py file will mostly show the code and this this thing it will not understand right this is nothing but markdown and uh, other python id will not understand the markdowns so this will be commented out or kind of text file it is a simple text you will not get all this format there are you getting what i am saying so this code you will get as it is this code will run if you if you download this file in ipynb everything you will get in this format if you download it in dot py format all the code file this program will run the output you can generate in any other uh, id spider or whatever but the markdown will not work markdown will be commented out or it's it, it will be treated as simple text <laughs> Uh, if if I save if I save that file and there is one hyperlink, so at that time the hyperlink will work or not? No, 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 nothing will work. Only in Jupyter this I because it supports Markdown. Other other ID will not support Markdown. Right? Other other files are other IDs are just for Python coding. 
only okay. it will understand python code rest all are kind of comment you can come like how you are writing comments right similarly it will treat all the text as normal text string not any hyper like markdown so markdown that's why it is a notebook uh, so yeah to answer your query all this markdown will work only in jupyter but uh, if you want to use the python file you can use anywhere you can download it and you can run this code anywhere any any id this markdown will be commented out that's it the output everything you will be same you can okay. see all the outputs yeah uh, okay one more doubt yeah. Uh, yeah. i have jupyter notebook can yeah. i double click to open from there or, or need to upload and, uh, in the jupyter notebook and open it no you need to first have this um home page right first this notebook links local host this should come and then you can double click here it will directly open okay need Once to come this, here yes you need to come suppose i download in uh, you you share you share me jupyter notebook i have in my uh, download section from the download folder itself can i double click or need to come to the local host 880 yours then i need to double click it no 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 download folder if you double click it will not open because that kernel should start in background if you open see there is one it's oh, it's start in bam see this is running background so you need to start this first then you can open any file so that's why i'm writing jupyter space notebook it will open this in local host this will keep running if you oh, if i uh, close this my jupyter will not work you won't okay. see if i close this my jupiter will not work now i cannot do anything here okay uh, uh, server error see okay and one more doubt this is a dot ipo file suppose i need to uh, need a only source code to run in uh, uh, pycharm or uh, spider ide can i convert into dot uh, py, py file yes 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 you can so uh, it will not work because i close that in download as there is option dot py just download it as py file if it is py you can run it anywhere anywhere okay yeah you can generate python files from this okay i'll try it uh, find out tomorrow also. yeah yeah sure so this is a tutorial on jupiter i think it's a it's a like you must be very comfortable using it now or not if you are not then you have python installed your assignment today is just see this video lecture and kind of create the same thing replicate the same thing uh, in your jupiter create a document maybe you write something there and try all these options and let me know if you are facing uh, difficulty in any of this okay okay uh, so Sita, yeah. i have a question suppose one table i want to insert here so yeah. i have save as image then i will put as a like so uh, like source for like uh, image so i have to write or uh, directly i can copy paste in the code itself see i will suggest to make this documentation simple for jupyter notebook okay. why because we are mostly uh, data science we are here to insights we are generate insights from data documentation okay. the purpose of doing documentation is just to make sure others are understanding what we are doing right okay. so you can you can copy the source code from table going to maybe uh, markdown syntax and paste here it will work but okay. for a table i think more than creating nice documentation i will suggest you create table quickly within one second in excel and copy that here i mean the okay. so the image you can paste here that will faster okay but it's okay. up to so you will, it's up to you okay. and save as image and i will uh, do here yeah Press yeah it. but if you are expert in markdown you can directly code here i mean it's up to you how you want to okay. do it yeah and uh, one more option is uh, they download markdown means it's uh, this download is open like a notepad or something download as a markdown one option is there yeah you can open it mostly the markdown uh, code will be opened and i oh. think you can i don't know like whether uh, the python file how it behave once okay. you download it as markdown you can try it out i have never tried okay. that okay yeah. fine, fine 
I don't okay. think uh, it will support by any other ID because Markdown is not supported by PyCharm or Spider. Only the Python file it will support. So if you want to open in other ID, only option you have is .py format. Download okay. this file in .py format. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here save option also there, right? Uh, we can save the code in between. Like, yeah, 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 you can save. So I will recommend always keep two copies. One is .py format copy. If you are, let's say you are a PyCharm user, you do everything in PyCharm, day-to-day -day life, whatever you are doing, code change, everything do, do in Py, uh, like PyCharm. And finally, final code, right? When you completed everything, uh, yeah. Once you can create a Jupyter document if you want really. Otherwise, just leave it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, similarly, if you are doing everything in Jupyter, similarly, if you are doing everything in Jupyter, you can keep two copies. One is dot .ipynp copy, and other is dot .py copy, so that your team members, if they are not using Jupyter, they can also use your code using other, any other ID. In, in Jupyter Notebook, uh, I'm downloading as a .py file and using uh, using another ID. Suppose yeah. in PyCharm, dot .py, I need to convert into the uh, Jupyter that uh, no, I... No, cannot do. We can do? No. PY format cannot be converted to IPYNB. IPYNB can be converted to PY. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I have added my... IPYNB is a very specific Jupyter Notebook format, right? So... PY, all the PY files you cannot convert to IPYNB. I mean, you and can open it. You can open in Jupyter. All the PY files you can open. Are you getting what I'm saying? So any .py file you can open. You can go run also because that is Python code, right? It will support. But any IPYNB file, uh, you can convert in PY here. There is other command also. Uh, but I will make it simple because it is confusing others. See, there are two things. One is IPYNB and one is PY. So PY is universal because it is Python format. Everything, uh, every ID support PY, including Jupyter. You use PyCharm, you use Pycom, uh, you, you, you use Spider, you use Jupyter, you use Notepad, use whatever. You have always option to save as .py. In Jupyter, you're getting an additional option to save it as either PDF or HTML or Markdown or IPYNB format. Why you're getting additional options? Because you are using Markdown here. This kind of things will only be open if you have Markdown support. So Jupyter okay, you, files can also be downloaded as IPYNB format. That is specific to Jupyter. IPYNB format as it supports Markdown, Will not be opened in, in will not be opening in any other uh, ID except Jupyter, right? In PyCharm, Notepad, it will not open. It will give you error. Clear, clear or doubt? Yes, clear. Thank you for Now, you uh, can you scale sometime by edit view insert cell kernel widget commands file recover whatever edit view that. I already told no. You if you want to kind of listen again, you can go to the recordings. That uh, if you. Uh, Insert cell kernels widgets that are extra option that are. oh rest option yeah that's the same thing insert means insert cell above below i think these all things you can also explore by yourself after the class yeah. cell yeah, means no? run cell no no i mean these all are the tabs which you can if you click you will get the options i mean the okay. same thing that i told you can like ah, kernel i will explain kernel there are so many, many multiple options uh, thank you for asking by the way this kernel is important i forgot to tell you so kernel is basically let's say if something is hanged right let's say as i told it will run cell by cell uh, and uh, let's say in one cell it is hanged and it is hanged like for like let's say for many uh, minutes it is just hanging not moving so that time you need to forcefully kill it or interrupt if you press interrupt uh, let's say this I am running right I'm running I want to interrupt it's already completed but it's not complete it's not completing uh, running this cell it's hanging I will click on this interrupt so interrupt means keyboard interrupt I am forcefully killing that similarly let's say you want to restart and clear output you want to restart everything from first and you want to clear all the outputs and then restart then you can click this restart and run all so if you press on run all it's like everything one by one everything will be run in one time 
okay no need to uh, go cell by cell everything it will be uh, running one by one right so these all are the options you can play with shut down you want to shut down change kernel python 3 by default you have only one kernel so uh, basically the cell is i was saying no by default it is uh, i python cell uh, if something is hanging you can interrupt if you want to restart everything you can press this you can restart and clear or clear all your output this restart run all the cells in one time you can run this reconnect if something happened in like it's disconnected again you want to reconnect reconnect so these all are the things in, in change kernel if you have python 2 python 3 uh, to teach between that it's the change kernel right no no python 2 we are not even talking about no, just, uh, now for example uh, there is a three version of python python 3.1 3.5 so that to change is there is a change kernel is there what is the change kernel use no no change kernel is different format like here we have only python 3 if you are using other uh, like let's say jupiter is not only supporting python right it, it is supporting r you can write scala code you can write r code you can write julia oh. code so you have different comes kernels there so one for python one for r so you can change but here it is not applicable okay, okay. yeah digits okay yeah digits can you tell about digits uh, that i think it's not required for you Okay. It's it's some um, yeah it's like this is uh, edit the rest all you can explore uh, I think few things uh, you can just click and you can explore edit card delete merge uh, let's say you want to merge few cells you can call merge cell above so two cells will be merged into one uh, delete cell I told you about pressing two time DD otherwise you can simply uh, press this to delete cells right cut cell copy cell I think these all things you can I think if you click you can actually explore this is tab based right just it is written what it is doing just you need to try okay so uh, uh, yeah ma'am when i try to save the uh, file as a pdf it is showing internal server data what could be the reason sometimes it happened actually it happened with uh few of my teammates also sometimes it uh, is not supporting pdf uh, mostly it should not be the case if your installation is successful uh, you should be able to download as pdf um if it is not maybe i just send me the error code i will check in i will look into it maybe you need to do some setting changes or you can um it happened because it happens sometimes pdf Maybe it is sometimes it is not supporting. You can reinstall in that case. Maybe okay. because when I installed, uh, I didn't uh, uh, see any error. It, is, it has been uh, compiled. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, sometimes download PDF. Is your PDF uh, softwares are like all the required softwares that support PDF is there in your system? Because this is yeah. not a common error. Uh, other will not be facing this error. This very specific. Because I'm able to open other PDFs successfully. Like whatever the PDFs are available okay. in my, I'm able to open. Okay, so I think uh, in that case, um, the solution is just google that error why it is showing and maybe some setting change you need to do in the setting file config file you can do some changes there if it is not supporting pdf but make sure your system in your side everything is good okay okay uh, one more uh, one more question I uh, take uh, yeah uh, did, did it say saw that it is say widget as uh, like that uh, restore the point and search google i didn't get anything can you tell to and why that widgets is there it is not user friendly commands the widgets see this is like mostly it's a it's not like jupyter notebook everything we are going to learn it's itself is a 2000 page document right it's just the main goal of this class is to make you comfortable in jupyter notebook any additional thing you want you can please take help from google i mean okay. many of the things yeah it's like even yeah. if you go to Markdown, it's Markdown itself will take one month to teach you, right? It, it's supposed uh, to. Yes, because uh, uh, not you can Google well. also. Sometimes, if you don't understand, sometimes what is Google? Just type what is widget in Jupyter. You will get answer here, right? See, 
nice answer you got so basically what are what are jupiter widgets so widget is an eventful python object now you will not understand because python i have not covered that in case of jupyter notebook resident in the browser and you know what is widget right so basically if you are creating kind of uh, widgets mostly there is i python widgets uh, where you can create drop downs and all that so in that case when you are using this drop down window right there is a package if you use this drop down window or menu or something and if you want to save in that format then this tab is needed it's not needed for everyone that's why i skipped it okay i got so it some, if you create tabs you can also create tabs menu drop down and all that and you want to save in that format right that's something different so then you can use this widget it's not for normal use okay okay uh, thank you so let's connect in the next class and uh, next class i'll quickly give you maybe in 5 10 minutes i'll give you a kind of uh, quick tutorial on spider and then i will jump into python so we'll start python so next class we'll be starting python and uh, yeah so all this thing you can practice jupyter notebook this recording will be shared to you so that anywhere you stuck you can follow the recordings and please let me know if you face any difficulty whatever at least we completed in the class anything let like, let's say ma'am i am not able to add images something some error you can share those we will discuss in the next class okay Oh, oh. <clears throat> our yeah. class will okay. be only for one hours. Uh, no, 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 no. So next class onwards, it will be two and a half hours. Uh, okay. Depending on, yeah, once I think we are in a batch forming mode. That's why we are not exceeding uh, two, three, three hours. Once uh, your kind of batch is formed, then it will be two and a half hours. And the timing, I think, let's discuss the timing mostly. Seven thirty eight is okay. Uh, hmm. so let's say. Yeah. I think 7:35 start, then 9:30, 10 we will finish. Uh, 8 we will start, then 10:30 it will finish. So you I let me know the timing. Yeah. Can you pick the uh, 8:30 or because 7:30 is very difficult to do. So 8:30. 8:30 will be late for me. 8 o'clock. Let's stick to 8 o'clock. If all okay. are agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.